Hey, it's Pizza Dude, man. Yeah. We're exploring Bug Bush. That's not really its name, but it's a, it's a pretty good description. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't ran into any wild Pokemon yet, but there's lots of trainers. And this girl thinks that a, that a bug stung her. That'd be pretty bad if it were true. Mm -hmm. That's a Paris. Oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. It is it me. Like it's dead. Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get the X's like, in its eyes, like... Uh, its mouth open, it looks kind of like it's fallen to the ground. I'm dead. Well, now it is dead. I just killed it. You murdered it. Murder! Murder! Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we murdered it. You murdered it. Murdered it. Alright. What's next? What else you got? Is a Parasect? I actually really like Parasects. Oh, that's cool. Parasects are a really good Pokemon. Because they have aromatherapy and spore. Do they have aromatease? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and I, I should cosplay that. As an aromatease? I should be a remote. Ro aromatease. Arom <laughs> aromatease. <laughs> It'd be really easy. You just get like a giant, like, fat suit. And look at my like, butt! Make it furry. Why? No. You don't. Your butt's not nice enough to look at. Oh, what? You just got dissed, girl. <laughs> if these, if, if she has things better than Hoppips, I might get enough XP to, to level up. Thing is, Hoppips don't give you much XP. Hoppips suck. They kind of do. So, the thing I hate... Oh, a skip loom. Maybe she ends with a jump bluff. What's the thing you hate? The thing I hate about the photo, the version of Photoshop I work in, it's an older version, so every time I try to merge layers, uh -huh. it um, doesn't apply all the effects I put on there in transparencies. Oh, so you have to kind of like reapply those? No, I can't reapply them. That's the problem. Oh, shit. So, like... Everything looks like all good and perfect. I merge all my layers together and it just looks disgusting. And I'm like, really? So you have to fix it now? No, I just leave the layers unmerged. Oh. So what is that? What's the problem with that then? Normally, like, I like to merge layers so then I can work on different parts and do different effects to different parts, you know, if that makes any sense? I think I get it. But it's kind of hard to do that in Photoshop. I just... In newer versions of Photoshop, I could merge layers and it would keep all of the, like, transparencies and stuff and have it be nice and not stupid looking. Man, you know what? There is a lot of trainers here. Ooh, Pinsir. I don't remember there being this many trainers. Man, Pinsir looks so much more badass in this version. I know, look at that sprite. Like, that looks like it's going to come kill you. It's like, Like, Egh. I don't know. Like, some of the 3D stuff just kind of... It makes it look stupefied. goofy. Some things just look better 2D. Oh, that's a hair across. I would love it if oh we caught a hair God. across. I know we wouldn't use it. Well, if we got a hair across, no, because I already got Eager Raptor on the team, so I don't need another fighting type. I like a plastic hair across toy as a kid. Hair across has always been one of my favorites. He's always been one of Taylor's favorites. Taylor actually uh, raised. I mean, it was kind of a big deal back then when we were kids. He actually, back in his gold version, he like raised a, a hair across to level one hundred. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was kind of this big deal. I try to remember, maybe it was Crystal, because I think what happened, I think it was in Pokemon Crystal, there was actually a, a clone glitch hmm. where you could clone your Pokemon. Um, and so what happened was he raged a Pokemon, to, a, a Heracross, to level 100, and then he and five other friends discovered that glitch, and all of them had raised a one favorite Pokemon to, like, level 100. Like, one person raged a Pidgeot, one person raised an Alakazam, and then what they did was they all cloned their Pokemon five times and gave each other the duplicates. Oh, that's cool. And so all of them had an identical team of six level 100 Pokemon that they'd fight each other with. And it would just be a battle of, you know, strategy and moves. Because oh, they all had geez. equal teams. Yeah, it was really awesome. I was never a part of it, but it was still really cool. You know, that's something I found really... I still find today really fun about, like, the way Taylor plays games with other people. He always tries to make it so it's, like, interesting and fun for everyone. Yes. And, like, has some kind of level playing ground to where, like, everybody can enjoy it no matter what your skill level. Yeah. 
Because that sounds just like something he would have came up with, and that he's always came up with with other games and whatnot. So this is actually a new Pokemon for us. We've never gotten oh, a hey. Weedle or a Kakuna or anything like that. Kakuna so Matata. here we go. This is our next Pokemon capture. We'll never use it, which is too bad because I absolutely love bee drills. The Alola region needs a Kahuna that uses Kakuna. I am the Kakuna Kahuna. Who are we naming this thing after? Anyway, just looking ahead. Um. Okay. Da, na, 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 na. Damn, are you kidding me? Ba, ba, da. Da, na, da, da, da. Come on. It's level 9! Why is it breaking out of Great Balls? This is the same type of thing I would see in, like, Viridian Forest. I'm seriously going to use an Ultra Ball? Yep. Come on. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Yeah, you're right. It is. I have no choice. Come on. Are you serious? This is ridiculous. All it knows is harden. It can harden real well. No, I don't want to be caught. I'm just going to struggle around as a cocoon and make <laughs> myself harder and harder. Nah. There we go. Got it. I just had to mock it first. Alright, we got See, Kakuna. because that's how you catch any kind of Pokemon. Almost incapable of moving, this Pokemon can harden its shell to protect itself against in danger. We're naming this Kakuna after... Blah Blah LPs. Blah Blah LPs. Blah Blah LPs. Blah Blah LPs. Blah Blah was a guy found through Twitter, because he's actually, at least at the time that I, uh... Found him. I just—I guess it'd just be blah blah LP. He was really, really active on Twitter. Like he was constantly talking with people and uh, like answering questions and stuff like that. He's—he was, he was a really friendly guy. He still is. Um, but like, yeah. And then that's how I found him and interacted with him. Um, he's a, as you might guess from his name, he is a, a let's player. Um, he kind of specializes in, I guess you'd say, um, in Kingdom Hearts games. That's kind of cool for me to, to see, because, like, I enjoy Kingdom Hearts games, but I rarely have the platform to play them on, mm -hmm. at least the, the major ones. So, you know, it's kind of a nice little outlet for me to still kind of experience those games. It's Pokemon Breeder Allison. I remember back when I first, like, discovered the internet... Kingdom Hearts was kind of like one of the fandoms I stumbled upon. It was, was like the really shit. Into. People loved Kingdom Hearts when it came out. Yeah. People are still awaiting Kingdom Hearts 3, which has been around for a long time. It's supposedly coming out in, like, 2018 or some shit. Mm -hmm. That's, like, one of those funny things that, like, if you're never a part of the fandom, it's kind of weird to, like, try to relate to. Yeah, I can see that. But, I mean, it's Final Fantasy meets Disney, so it's hard not to love. I mean, just from a conceptual standpoint, I know some people who don't like it. But I think the reason they don't like it is because of, like, the fandom and how much it's hyped up. Because, yeah, I will admit, you know, Kingdom Hearts is really, really fun, but it's not one of my favorite series. I think every fandom's a little bit too obsessive. I mean, you're going to get, like, a good number of people that are going to be weird about it, you know? I suppose so. But there's also a lot of good people in the fandom and a lot of fun people. So, like, honestly, no one should really knock any fandom down and like generalize everyone in that fandom, but also be aware that you might come across some crazies. Right, like in my opinion, Steven Universe is wonderful, oh, and yeah. I love watching Steven Universe, but people will outright say that the Steven Universe fandom is toxic. And yeah, there has been some literally harmful incidents within the Steven Universe fandom that uh, I do not condone, but I'm still gonna say I'm a fan of Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. And that you'd appreciate being, on, like, friends with people who are fans of it as long as they're functional about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, there's, like, it's a difference between being, like, you know, enjoying something a lot and really loving it and being obsessive about it. There's a line yeah. between that. And a lot of people don't understand that. But that's how it's always been with, like quote-unquote fandoms even before the internet, you know? You're gonna, yeah. You're gonna have some of those toxic groups or people that... So this girl was just bragging about how much she loves bug Pokemon and then she uses a snubble. <laughs> I think she's confused. Not a bug, lady. It could be someone that's like, I love burgers, but then they order a salad. 
<laughs> Except, unless you're like me, who loves both burgers and salad. And I will order both. Like I did a couple nights ago. Yeah. You, yeah, the other night we went to Jack in the Box <laughs> and you got a burger and fries and a drink and a salad. Like not you got, just you, a drink, I got a milkshake and a oh, salad. Oh yes, it was a milkshake. So not only was it a full <laughs> meal with a substitute milkshake over a, 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 a traditional drink, you also got a salad on top of it. I was really wanting vegetables and fast food at the same time. It was fantastic. Actually, I'm starting to get a little peckish. Really? That just a not little. Satisfy you? But I mean, I kind of want to go over and get a Slurpee anyway. All right. What do they actually have over there? It's just the. It's not shaved ice. What is it? It's like a not a slush puppy. It's just the the. I don't know what you call it. Are you talking about like the the ice things store? they have? Yeah, the convenience store down the street. Ices? Is it Icy's? They're not. Sorry. They're not literally Icy's, but they're they, they're like Icy's. Sure, you want to go down to that place? Because I'm not re wearing real pants. Well, I mean. A, you could change. B, I could go by myself. True. Because, I mean, I'm not in a real shirt. I'd have to change my shirt regardless of if you come with me or not. Might as well put real pants on. Or I could just, like, go all white trash and put my PJs on or something. You know, you'd still look nicer than most of the people that go there this time of night. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, like, it's... Uh, it's actually not that late. Um, I was gonna be like, well, it's like 10 o'clock at night, of course everyone's gonna look like crap there. But I'm just like, it's only 9 o'clock, which is still early in my books. Mm. I, you know, I think it's early enough to put pants on before going to a convenience Oh, this store. guy's name is Layton. It's Professor Layton. Cool. You know, I've actually never played through a Professor Layton game. That might be fun to do as a blind LP, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have a platform I could put it on, though, because I think those are, like, almost exclusively DS games, and I can't really record those. Unless they've... Have they put a latent game on Virtual Console for the Wii U? Yeah, I don't know. Because then I could do that. Like, comment, and, comment, and subscribe. Especially comment, if you have an answer to that. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would be the most helpful. You could just like the video. Yeah, they do! And then they just like the video, and it's just like... <laughs> subscribe and never answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where does this lead? Green Path. Okay, oh, so Green Path extends out to here. Okay, it's not as useless as I thought. So where does this lead to? Man, this is bigger than I thought. Green. This whole thing is Green Path. It leads to Outcast Island, which leads to Altering Cave, which I don't think is going to have that much in it. Because I think, I think if I'm remembering correctly, if I'm not mixing it with something else, that's where you did, like, e-reader card stuff. So, what e-reader card was, because I actually, I had an e-reader. It was a really expensive piece of junk that they didn't utilize nearly enough for me to have spent the money that I did on it. The e-reader was this big gigantic black cartridge that you attached onto your Game Boy Advance. And then um, what it was is it filled in the slot like a game, but then like this big contraption had a card reader on it, like a debit card type thing. And what you do is there were certain like cards you could get that you could scan um, into your e-reader and achieve effects for other games. The big ones they did that I remember where they had Animal Crossing e-cards that gave you special items and this and that. Uh, if you transfer them over to your Animal Crossing game by connecting your Game Boy Advance to the GameCube. Mm -hmm. there were They actually came out with a series of Pokemon cards that you could scan with the e-reader and play like Pokemon-themed minigames, kind of like the Pokemon minis they used to have. Um, and then they also had... Uh, there was another one saying that. They had um, like a Mario Party set of e-reader cards that were basically just minigames. You could do on the e-reader. So yeah, those were the uh, e-reader cards. I'm looking for the pokey flute. There we go. It's over here. Um, so yeah, that was the e-reader. So I had one. I had a few Animal Crossing cards and some of the Pokemon cards. I played the shit out of the Machop mini game that they they gave you out of those cards. Whoa. 
I almost just lost Chugga Conroy. Oh no. Because the, the, he got a critical psychic. Jesus. Recover. Ha <laughs> ha. Dumbass. Alright. But yeah. I can't remember. Why did I start talking about the e-reader? Oh yeah, because I think Altering Cave has something to do with that. They did some e-reader cards that were like getting special items or fighting special trainers or finding special Pokemon in Pokemon. In fact, if I remember correctly, things like the Eon ticket, which you originally used, that's right, that's why I got the e-reader in the first place, was for the Eon ticket. Because it was how you got Latios or Latios if you had the other version. Hmm. Like... If you had Pokemon Ruby, you could get Latios, which is what I had. So you need the Eon ticket to get Latios. Um, and then, yeah, it would be the other way around in the other game. And in Sapphire, you get Latios, then you need the Eon ticket to go get Latios. Hey. Yes. I need help. Okay. Is it? Okay, so what saturation do you like? Uh huh. This? Mm hmm. I think that one blends better with the background. What do you think? Yeah. Do you actually agree? I think it does. Okay. So I'll save that. Just trying to tone down the saturation a bit. Yeah, I get it. But no, now I remember that's the entire reason I got the e-reader in the first place. I, was I would pretty much get any... At the time that the e-reader came out, I would get pretty much literally anything Pokemon related. So that I could get all the Pokemon stuff. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I mean, alternatively, I could have just bought in Pokemon Sapphire, which actually I did at some point, so that I could get Kyogre. Ugh. I wish Facebook would stop asking me for my phone number. Yeah, I always tell it no. You know, it's funny, because in a attempt to try to get me to have my phone number, it says... These are all the people who have added their numbers to their Facebook for extra security, and your face, face is on there. Oh, maybe I did give it to them at some point. Hey, so the cool thing here is, normally Earthquake is not safe to use in a double battle, but uh, I got a flying type here. Hmm. So it totally is. Da -da -da -da. Doesn't affect Chagacon right. Oh! Owned. Destroyed. Boom. Takes care of that. Nice. <laughs> and Eager Raptor got most of the XP. Did he? T yes. Is that a picture of a guy with a full fledged, like, Computer, not a laptop, a computer yes, at a McDonald's. Uh, yeah, he, he took his, um, his, his monitor and his computer tower and everything he needed to hook up his entire desktop to McDonald's, McDonald's for the re free Wi Fi. Free wi -Fi. Do you think they just let him do that as long as he bought food? Oh, probably. Oh, I, I meant to cut off that episode after this, uh, after that last fight. So I'll see you guys next time when we take on Swimmer Mimo. See ya.